Hi friends, Tracy here from the Sewing Channel. This picture right here inspired me to make another sew and sell. Oh yeah, and here it is. Don't let Amazon have all the business. I mean, you can totally make this with a simple cheap tablecloth. I mean, I'm sure that's what they did. When I saw that picture for $27 for that vinyl fitted tablecloth, I went straight to the Dollar General and this is what I found tablecloths vinyl flannel backed for five dollars i bought two of them making the tabletop and two side benches now here's another amazon vinyl top tablecloth that was 7.89 now that's not the fitted kind but you could also get it from them and make it to sell if you make it to the end of this video i have bonus footage to show you how to take a vintage tablecloth and make sure that it stays down and not fly off with the wind. My picnic table was six foot, 72 inches long. So I had to sew both of those vinyl tablecloths together. Now here I am outside with it already sewn, trying to get it to lay down so I can see where I need to cut it so that it'll just fit this table. And you can see it's blowing all over the place. Who doesn't understand that? That's the whole reason for this project. When you're measuring and cutting, be sure to note the depth of your table. Mine happened to be two inches thick, so you wanna make sure you account for that. I'd say it's a safe bet to add in the measurement of your table, add the depth, and add at least two to three more inches onto that when we sew the elastic on, and I think you'll be good. Sewing this elastic on is a very simple sewing technique. You're going to lay your elastic down on the flannel side of this tablecloth. Now you want to pull like a tug of war. You just don't want to pull from the front. Once you get your elastic down and going, you're going to pull from the back and the front. I did use a zigzag stitch as well, and that will help the elastic part of this project. Now remember, vinyl and flannel backing, it doesn't fray, so you don't have to worry about covering the end of the fabric. And that's what mine looked like right there. Kind of reminds you of a shower cap, right? <laughs> now it's time to make the bench covers. I did have to piece it together to make it fit along the whole bench, but I used the same exact technique and it worked out beautifully. Now I know you don't see the other bench covered in this video that I'm sharing with you right now, but I do have enough fabric or vinyl, so to speak, to finish it. I just wanted to hurry up and get my video up and uploaded. So, but I do have enough with what I bought in those two packages. So I'd say not bad, right? Now on to the bonus section. <laughs> so I took my large vintage tablecloth, laid it out. I sort of lifted the corners up and toward the side and I took my pins out with me because I wanted to really find out where it was laying properly at and you can see there I placed my pins and now I'm back in my sewing room and I just took some twill tape it's just what I had on hand I kind of wish I had some big billowy red ribbon but I didn't. So once I measured it, it ended up being about five and a half inches from the corner toward the center. So I knew that's where I wanted my ribbon or tie to go. So on all four corners, I measured up five and a half inches and pinned it. And I pinned the twill ribbon, which, you know, make it any length that you like. And then I folded it and found the center. And that's the pin I'm pointing at right there. And that's where I'm going to add a tiny little twill loop. I'm pinning it right now so that I can take it to the sewing machine and sew it down. That little loop will help our bow stay on top of the tablecloth and not tuck under when the wind blows. Once you've tacked everything down, take it out and try it on your picnic table. And here I'm just putting the bow through that little loopy twill tape and it fits perfectly. And it's not going to blow over the bow. The bow is always going to be exposed. I really love how this turned out because I always want to bring this tablecloth out, but then it always blows when the wind blows. Take a look at your screen right now. I have handpicked some other sew and sell ideas for you. 
go ahead and click on one of them and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time on the Sewing Channel, take care.